Okay, we're back again. Uh, what I'm going to be doing in this segment is checking the squish. I've not done anything to the cylinder yet. So what I'm going to do is just check and see what kind of a squish we have. Uh, for those who you who don't know, squish is the area on this outer band between the top of the piston and that outer band. So as the piston's running up and down, it would be the distance between the top of the piston and that squish band. Again, arrow goes toward the exhaust. This is the exhaust side of the saw. Um, install the needle bearing. I'm not going to put the sir clips in for this because there's really no need to and then have to fight to get them back out. Uh, just get the wrist pin in there. I'm not even going to put the rings on them. The exhaust goes to the front of the saw. One other thing, we are going. I am going to use the steel shim gasket to come with the kit. This is an OE piece. Uh, the reason I'm using this is because this is going to be a work saw. And I don't know if you can see this, but there's kind of like a, a bevel side and a recess side. The bevel side goes down tabs front and back it doesn't matter the orientation it's the same should have put that on before I put the piston on so the, the bevel side goes down just make sure it's clean oh one other thing here, almost forgot. I've got to cut the gasket tabs off. I use just a razor blade, or a razor blade knife. That's all I use. Lay it on there. Take that off. That's nice and smooth. I know you can't see that, sorry about that, but that's got just a little bit of a edge to it right there. There it is, right laying right there. There, nice and smooth now. Make sure your bevel's down. Put the piston back on. And that's the reason I don't put the sure clips in is because I'm going to be taking the piston back off anyway. Set the cylinder down over the piston. Some people only use two bolts, cylinder bolts, I use all four of them. I want it to be drawn down square. Yep, that ain't gonna 
off the down through there. This one's going to give me problems. There it goes. Okay. All I'm going to do is just kind of snug them with this. I'm not going to tighten them down. I'm going to do a crisscross pattern. Now I've got them snug, got them drawn down. I'm going to back them off just a, a tick. And I'm not even using the, the drill itself, I'm just using my hand to back them off. The reason I do that is I want the want the cylinder to be just a little loose. I'm going to run the piston up and down a couple times. And what that's doing is centering the cylinder to the piston. Now I can take. I want the piston at top dead center, so I can look through the exhaust port and see that. Now I can go ahead and snug them down until. My clutch releases. Take my T-handle. Give them a little bit more. What you're doing here is actually compressing that gasket, that steel shim gasket. Okay. Hope you can hear and see that. But that's that's smooth as all get out. I actually took cut a piece of copper, or not copper, but solder, and I've got it already bent up. I'm going to stick it in the spark plug hole. What I'm doing here is I'm going to turn the engine over and it's going to flatten that solder out. And when you take that out, that's going to be the squish. I don't know if you can see that. It's It's got a little bit of a indent to it. Again, we're going to start. I'm going to do this in thousandths of an inch. We're starting at zero. The solder itself measures 62 thousandths. Now here's the squish area. 47.5, 47 and a half with the gasket in it. 48. We'll just call it 48. 47. Yeah, we'll call it 47. So it's got 47 thousandths of an inch squish. For my likings, that's a little too tight. Or, excuse me, not tight, but a little too loose. Meaning there's too much of an area between the inside of the cylinder and the top of the piston. So I'm going to want to get that down to about 20... This is going to be a work saw, so I don't want it too tight. So I want it down somewhere around 25 thousandths. All four. So now,
The squish was 47 thousandths. That's what we got here. 47 and a half. So we'll call it 48. So we got 48 thousandths of an inch squish, and I want it down to about 25. So we're going to be taking 20. Let's take 22 thousandths off of it. That should get us down to around the 25 inch, 25 thousandths of an inch squish. So I'm going to send this out to my buddy. I'm going to have him mill 25 thousandths off the thickness of this base flange. That'll actually set the cylinder down onto the saw 25 thousandths of an inch farther, which will bring the piston up higher into the combustion chamber. Um, one other thing before I send it off, just to make sure, I'll go ahead and put my degree wheel on it and make sure the port timing will, will accept that much. But typically with these cylinders here, that isn't going to hurt a thing. Okay, hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one.